Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends toy review for the Marvel Legends Nova. Uh, this just came out in the Nemesis series. Um, I just came back from Comic-Con 2009 and fucking had a great fucking time. So this is my first toy review since then. Um, and on my way back, I met up with a friend of mine, uh, Solid Snake in My Pants, and I gotta say thanks so much, dude. Um, that guy fucking went out of his way and drove to, like, this this Walmart that's, like, 30, 40 minutes away from his place and fucking picked up uh, whatever he could get there. And he, and he picked up almost the entire um, Nemesis wave uh, just for me. He had already gotten the whole series for himself and whatnot. And, um, and damn, dude, thanks a lot, dude. That was really, really fucking cool. Like, drug dealers and shit. We met at 2 o'clock in the morning and everything. I woke him up. And, uh, yeah, and he met up with me, and I, you know, I gave him money for the figures and whatnot, and fucking, yeah, I got, I got almost the complete Nemesis wave, so I'm really stoked off of that, and, you know, yeah, Solid Snake, thanks a lot, dude, I really appreciate it, man, so, yeah, big shout out to him, man, and, um, yeah, so this is a pretty cool figure, this was the figure I wanted more than any of the other ones in the Nemesis wave, I mean, for some reason, I've, I've always really liked Nova, uh, the more recent series I stopped reading a little while ago, but um, I just thought Nova was so cool, and this is the one that I had to get, that I told myself, this is the one I really, really need. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so he's pretty cool. I mean, if you're really into the character, if you really like the character, I strongly recommend you get him. If you're not into Nova that much, you're, um, and you're kind of looking for a new, cool figure from Hasbro, you're not going to get it. This is a, a Quicksilver re-sculpt, uh, repaint. It's... The exact same thing as Quicksilver. I have Quicksilver right here, and um, I mean to the. I mean even they didn't even change the hands on it. The hands are exactly the same. They they have tread on the bottom of the feet. The exact same tread on the bottom of the feet and everything. It's the it's the same exact figure, um, just with the you know just with a different head. So so yeah that so it's not really anything too new from Hasbro, and. Um, and the paint detailing is 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 a, is a bit lacking, uh, just because there is none. There is not one part of the figure that has any kind of shading um, or variety. Everything is a solid color. So this is like a solid navy blue, dark blue, solid beige bronze, and you know solid red. And the you know the face color doesn't have any detail at all. At so. You know, that is a little disappointing. Was not totally uh, unexpected, though, because I did see pictures of it, and I thought it, you know, I kind of thought that would happen. But, um, you know, I really I really wanted this character, uh, this figure in my setup. So I'm really, really stoked to have him. And, uh, I, yeah, I just got to bring that stuff up just, you know, because there's people, like, you know, paying out the ass for this thing. So if, you know, so before you do that, I don't know how much he is on eBay right now, but, um, you know, just keep that in mind that you're not going to get, a brand new figure. You're going to get a Quicksilver, a Quicksilver repaint. All right. And, um, yeah, so, uh, it's, you know, I want to like one thing that's kind of cool about it is, um, I don't know if I've seen this before, so you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but like the bicep section right here up to the forearm, this is a different piece of plastic. This is not blue, uh, with the bronze painted over it, okay, so that's kind of neat, I like how they did that, so you're not going to get any paint wear or anything right here, so that's pretty cool, I like that, but the rest of it is, is, is painted on, so you can tell this is painted on right here, this is slightly different than this, and, you know, same thing with the logo and everything, and the helmet is its own plastic, this is not painted on, so, but I think it's pretty cool, they got the, the Nova emblem thingy on the forehead, right, you know, the likeness is, is pretty spot on, uh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a yellowish gold color instead of like this beigeish bronze, but, you know, I still think it's pretty cool, I'm really glad to have this figure, this is, yeah, so I said that hella times already, and, um, yeah, so that's, that's all to say really about the paint detailing, because there is, I mean, there really is no paint detailing, it's just, you know, these three, these four colors, you, you got your dark blue, um, there is, like I've mentioned before in some of the other figures, there is this fine glittery kind of thing going on here so it reflects light really well which makes it look really cool um pretty much just in the blue parts though not in the beige areas mm, maybe no yeah just the blue part it has like this little tiny fine sparklies inside the figure which is pretty cool inside the plastic so that's pretty dope um 
Yeah, and uh, articulation is okay. I mean, it's the same as Quicksilver, so, I mean, Quicksilver's a pretty well-articulated figure, so not much complaints there. The only complaint I have is that it's Nova, and, I, you know, I wanted to have him flying a lot, and his due to the helmet, um, it, his head doesn't tilt up much at all. So that's a little sad. It does move down, so I'll probably have him in a pose where he's, you know, shooting, I don't know, blasts blast like that, you know. So... <clears throat> and then you could see that, oh, actually, going back to the paint, you could see that the symbol right here is it's a little thin on the paint, you know what I mean? So if you're not careful, that could, I, I believe that that could scratch off, but that's brand new, so. And, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the head doesn't move back up, but he does have these uh, double dual shoulder joints right there. That's pretty funny looking. And he has a, so he has a shoulder joint, this one right here too, bicep moves, double jointed elbows. Forearm joint, wrist moves up and down, fingers, you know, move all together like that. Um, same thing with the other side, but he's got a different hand shape, you know, just like Quicksilver. He has a good torso joint, so that moves really, really far. Move that pretty far back. Waist joint. He has the ball joints for the legs, which I haven't messed around with too much. So, so you can get a decent flying pose, you know. Double jointed knees, calf joint right there, and you can tell this is a blue plastic with the applied, you know, beige bronze. Uh, ankle joint swivels side to side very nicely. He kind of has these big feet, you know, uh, moves up and down well. Toe joints, and yeah, that's it as far as the articulation goes. So the only complaint in the articulation for me is that is the head doesn't move too much. So yeah, I'm <clears throat> so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm you know. It's an okay figure. Generally, it's an okay figure. I'm really excited to have him because I've been wanting it for a long time, you know. So, you know, for me, I'm happy with it. But I could understand if you're not really that into Nova or you don't really care too much about the character, then you really, you know, I, I, I can't really recommend it to you guys. And he comes with the right leg of, uh, of the Holocaust or Nemesis, whatever his name is. So, <clears throat> I know it says Nemesis on the box, but I think in the comics it said uh, Holocaust. So yeah, so that's a right leg right there. So yeah, that's all I got to say about this figure. Alright, you guys. And uh, yeah, keep watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.